Hey guys, Zach with Evers Garage here. Today we're going to be showing you this 2019 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali. It's a fresh trade. Um, we'll walk you around the vehicle like we always do. With the Denali, you get the Denali grille, painted front bumpers. This particular case, we've got ultrasonic uh, front park assist, chrome tow hooks, LED signature lighting, LED headlamps, LED fog lamps. Uh, moving around to the side, you might not be able to see in the video, but it does have full paint protection on the front. Moving over here, work lamps, GM factory six inch running boards, chrome door handles with uh, passive entry, 20 inch alloy wheels. And then moving to the back, the all new Multi Pro tailgate. And then an uh, enthused hard folding tonneau cover factory spray and box liner and on these new 19s it, it might not come across in the video as good but this is pushed out so you got a substantial amount of volume and just over on the corner there we have a 400 watt uh 110 volt outlet seven pin four pin plug ultrasonic rear park assist backup camera tow package of course and then painted bumper in the back with the corner steps moving on to this side gmc it's got the plastic around the wheel wells insulated fender liners for uh to keep road noise down and then we'll uh go under the hood and show you some stuff there right now okay so under the hood of this thing we have a 5.3 liter v8 engine and it's all new for 2019. It's the L84. And what's unique about it is it has a, a feature called dynamic fuel management. So any uh, traditional Chevy knows that we ran with active fuel management for the last almost uh, decade. And for 19, we got dynamic fuel management. The big thing with that is rather than go from eight cylinders to four, it'll have 17 different patterns of firing. And it can go all the way down to two cylinders up to obviously eight. And so what's great about that is when you really don't need to use all eight cylinders, it's going to be running as efficiently and as it possibly can. And when you need the power, it will give you that. Uh, it's 355 horsepower, 383 pound feet of torque. Uh, so far, it's been good. We're still selling it on our uh, 2020s, and the trucks can't keep them on the lot right now. It's paired with an eight speed automatic transmission, dry, smooth, runs quiet. Best truck we've ever built in the half ton body by far. Let's go in the cab and show you some more stuff. Okay, so inside the cab, a couple things uh, just before we hop in the seat. On the driver's door here, we have the Bose premium sound system. So there's a subwoofer and amplifier in the vehicle as well, just under the center console, and then upgraded speakers throughout. Power mirrors, power windows, uh, power locks. The mirrors are also power folding as well. Programmable driver seat settings is what's unique about this vehicle is because it has the Wi-Fi built into the radio. You have driver one, driver two which people that have had this in their vehicle before are very familiar with. What's new on this model is when your key starts it, it will actually program your radio settings too. So it'll take uh, from the cloud, GM's cloud, it'll take all the settings and do radio presets, uh, vehicle settings, everything. It'll do it when you start it with your key, in addition to all the seats and the mirrors and that stuff. So I'm going to hop in and we'll go through it. Just before I do, though, if you can kind of see down here, the vehicle has all-weather uh, floor liners, similar to like what a WeatherTech or a Husky liner would be. They're just GM's version of it. It has that in the front and back. Um, getting up into the vehicle, and fired up. It is push button start. You'll see right now the seat's moving. That's that programmable seat setting I was talking about. Um, and then this, for example, the previous owner, we're going to delete this, but the previous owner had his user setting up. And so, of course, it, you know, in his name. And we'll go ahead and delete that right now. And then it's gone. And so you can have up to uh, five different, well, four different users and a guest. And it, like I said, it'll keep track of everything. So really neat on the truck. So moving here, we'll do our typical dash sweep. We have a big, huge center console, uh, SD card slot for the factory nav, USB, USB-C ports, and then trays on the side for files, uh, a divider in there, whatever you prefer. To close it, moving up here, we have our wireless cell charger. Bigger this year, we used to have it up on the console. Now it's down here. So if you have a bigger iPhone or Samsung or whatever, it's going to fit in there and it will charge it. 
factory trailer brake control, a couple more USB ports, a 400 watt uh, inverter built in. This is linked to the one in the back. Hill descent control, traction stability control, things that become standard over the years. Uh, front and rear park assist, lane keep assist. So if you hit a lot, the vehicle recognizes lines on the road, you touch them, it will adjust the steering wheel back. Heated cooled seats, dual zone automatic climate control, new for this model or body style. There's vents on the back here, which we'll show you when we get to the back. Uh, full gesture controlled radio. Uh, we have AM, FM, XM, silent radio, full Bluetooth functionality, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, as I mentioned earlier, factory navigation. Uh, the trailering app, so you can have trailer profiles uh, and multiples, and so they'll track things like your mileage with that trailer, uh, electrical connections, everything right in one spot, which is really nice. And then a, ca a link to the cameras, apps, etc. So that's a radio, really awesome. Over here on the steering wheel, tilt and telescopic. So just another way to customize it. We've had that for a few years on our trucks. It is a heated steering wheel. There's full audio controls here and then a full digital driver's information center on the dash. Uh, you won't be able to see it on the video, but the vehicle does feature automatic high beam headlamps. So we call that IntelliBeam in the GM world. So at night, if you're going over 40 kilometers an hour, the vehicle will detect if someone's coming towards you or you're coming up on someone. It'll automatically dim the high beams, but when there's no one around, it'll turn them on, which is really nice. So you never worry about that. Over above my left knee, uh, we have our drive mode select switch, four wheel drive with, of course, the auto track four by four, and then the automatic low beams, fog lights, etc. On the mirrors, there's side blind zone alert. And so it's a little hard to see, but there's a little vehicle with a star. And so the mirrors will actually alert you when someone's in your blind spots. We'll also get uh, rear tra cross traffic alert and lane departure warning with that. Up top, we've got programmable garage door buttons, a power sliding rear window. And then, of course, the sunroof up top, and then full-on start. That's a really quick rundown of the front. We'll uh, show you a couple things in the back. I guess last thing I just thought of it is Ford Collision Alert and Automatic Braking. The truck does have that as well. Uh, we can go into detail if you have questions about any of this stuff, but for the initial video, that's what I can tell you. We'll go to the back finish up. Okay, so in the back seat, a couple quick things we want to point, point out before we wrap up the video here. Kind of new for us for 19. There's in-seat storage. I'll just I'll open this side so you get a really decent look. In addition to the fold-down padded armrest cup holder. Lots of roof height. LED interior lamps. And then heated outboard seats, which is new for us for this model year couple USB ports down here and then a 12 volt outlet. We did gain three inches in the back over our uh, 2018 model. So these new vehicles have even more rear seat leg room. It's a 60-40 split folding seat. So there is, uh, in the back, there's a little storage area here. You can get it extended if you wanted, but what it comes with from factory is that. And then this rear mat, this is that all weather liner. What I like about GM's version is it can be broken apart. So anyone who's ever had one of these, where it was the WeatherTech or Husky, you know how painful it is trying to pull this out as one big piece. This one breaks apart in two, and then when it snaps together, it's one piece. Short of that, that's the truck. If you have any questions, feel free to hit one of the contact buttons or give us a shout at 403-845-3328.